we're going to look at power supplies. Uh, specifically for this video, we're going to look at uh, what happens in a bridge rectifier and where does current flow in that circuit. Let's review. We've got a power transformer, rectifier, one of three different types, and a uh, filter. This filter for us, uh, at least for right now, is just a capacitor. It's a really large capacitor, but it's just a capacitor. Looking at a real one, it's, uh, it's uh, very large. All right, that means that the input and the output of the filter, they're really the same nodes. So we have input and output, same nodes. I'm going to call this voltage here, call this a name, uh, V raw, so we can refer back to this again. <clears throat> this is the raw output of the power supply. This V raw really looks like this figure here. I have another video uh, that talks about how to, how to measure this and shows this on a real power supply. It looks like this. Yes, this is a full wave rectifier or bridge rectifier, the waveforms you would see, but you would only see these if there is no capacitor there. As soon as you put the capacitor there, you get this waveform because uh, the capacitor holds charge while none of the diodes are forward conducting. So I'm just going to cross that out. Uh, it's helpful, but not, uh, not exactly true if you measured waveforms through a circuit. All right, so here is our bridge rectifier. I'm going to go off on a little tangent here for just a second, and uh, do you notice how we have a uh, ground symbol here, we have another ground symbol over here. Uh, you go to the front page of my website, uh, agnd.net, and you'll see what I think about that. Uh, having more than one ground symbol is just a recipe for uh, disaster and kind of misunderstanding what, what happens. Where does the current go when it goes in? into there it looks like uh, you do Kirchhoff's current law and it doesn't doesn't go anywhere which as you know makes no sense. Right here we have a waveform our waveform is uh, going up and down this is AC 60 Hertz and for this positive current bath we're only going to consider that part of the waveform okay just that that part of the waveform this is the better color to use since this is a split secondary, we've got another dot here, phasing dot on the transformer. It's just implied, really. All right, so this waveform uh, at this node goes up and down like that. This waveform goes down then up. Uh, phasing dot's on the other side. So at this moment, we're going to consider this moment, that time right there. Just to put us a, a number to this, we'll say that this is a plus 10 volts then at this peak value, which means this is minus 10 volts by, uh, by the symmetry in the circuit. All right, flip over to a red pen because we're going to talk about positive voltages. Where does current flow? Well, this is supplying power to the circuit. We only have, uh, we're going to dissipate energy in the resistor. So what we're going to do is we'll just trace where positive current flows. We're pretty sure it's going to come out this way. Just kind of makes sense. This is plus, this is zero. Uh, current's going to come out. All right, so it comes out, it comes this way. We hit this node. We know that current's going to, it's coming in. Does it go out this way? Does it go down the uh, right branch? Well, we know that uh, current is not going to flow through diode number four because that's just not the way that current flows through a diode. It just, it, this is just not how it works. All right, so one really easy way to uh, figure this out is, uh, I call this Gandalf diode. All right, you got a little hat on there. All right, so current's not going to go through the diode this direction. That's just uh, not how diodes work. The only other option whether you know anything about uh, a bridge rectifier or not, is the current's going to go this way, go through diode one uh, in this direction, down and to the right, and we have a voltage across here. This is VD, and the uh, diode is in the on state. It's conducting VD on. Oh, let's just say this is uh, somewhere around 0.7 volts for now. Uh, you won't be surprised if you see 0.8 volts or 0.6 volts, it really depends on the current that's flowing through the diode and exactly how big this diode is. All right, we hit this node. 
We know again that the current cannot go this way. Gandalf says, uh, says no. He says, you shall not pass. All right, you're never going to forget which way current does not go through a diode. All right, so the only way for current to flow is uh, that way through that uh, junction up this wire. You can travel along the wire, go this way. There's an open circuit to the right. So current's going to go this way through the resistor. And you know that uh, we have voltage across the resistor. This is just Ohm's law. Okay. And then we get to this, uh, we get to this junction right here. All right, I know current's going that direction because KCL just, just implies that it's going that way. Can current go through this resistor on the bottom? Sure it can. It really depends on what voltage is at this node and what KCL is doing here. But we're going to just say, uh, I don't know what's going on here, but there will be some amount of current, perhaps, that goes this direction. All right, it goes that direction, and then now we see that it goes into the symbol, but it, it, it I mean, that's it. It looks a little weird. Well, this is where I go off on my rant about the agnd.net uh, thing. Super common way to get into trouble, but remember, every time you see a ground symbol or a reference symbol, uh, Earth is a little different. It's a little, you know, a bunch of terminologies with this, but when we're doing it this way, we're just saying that we're declaring that these nodes are the same. See how they're the same symbol? This one, this one. Same symbol, which also means they're the same electrical node. And it was just convenient that we didn't place the wire there. Well, right now we need to place the wire there, otherwise KCL makes no sense whatsoever. I'm going to draw this wire in and just be explicit about this connection here. These are the same node. Current can indeed flow this way, flows around this corner, flows around this corner, flows, 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 comes up the corner, up here, doesn't uh, connect, comes up, goes this way, and now it's easy to see where the current path is going to go. It's not going to go down because that's uh, it's, it's the wrong direction. You can see that we're going to finish the loop here. Rule of thumb, actually just rule of physics, is if you have a schematic and you only have one ground symbol, so you have wires every, everywhere else, one symbol just declares that this is zero volts at that particular node, uh, just by the fact that you declared that. Uh, you start at any node, and you should be able to draw with your pen or pencil and go an entire loop through components, down wires, around here in this case, up and back and come back right to where you started without lifting your pen. If you can't do that, if you have to lift your pen, either you're, you're doing some uh, graphical trickery with your uh, sim node symbols here, or you have indeed not found a current path. Current always flows in loops. Okay, so we found one loop. I'm going to use green for the uh, negative side, so negative 10 volts. Uh, this is also supplying power. Current is going to be going this way through uh, this negative side, but it's a little weird to be going talking about negative current and drawing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the arrows backwards. If it came in here, it came this way. It came this way, okay? Well, can current came out of this node. Could it have gone through this uh, diode in this direction to go that way? Uh, Gandalf says no, it can't go that way. We just know that because current doesn't flow through diodes that way. But it could have gone this way and just made a sharp right-hand corner. Here again we see a VD. It's in the on state. Oh, let's say uh, 0.7 volts or so. All right. So it, now we have current. It had to have come in this node from here. We know it did not come in the node from this direction. So we know that current has to be positive the way I drew this arrow, uh, right where the pen is. But here's the next weird thing. This line of reasoning that we've been using, and current flows in, goes out this way, but can it go up? Can it go up through diode 4? You know what? It kind of looks like it. Gandalf says, uh, sure. Uh, but that's actually incorrect. Your intuition is good, so don't don't doubt your intuition about what's going on. You're just missing one more uh, one more point, and uh, here it is. 
I'll turn off my beeper noise. Mute the audio. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's look at this one more time. What is the node voltage right here? Well, it's 10 volts or minus 10 volts. This node is also minus 10 volts. Okay, we'll just note that on here. We know about Kirchhoff's voltage law. We go out by, let's say, 0.7 volts. So this node voltage is minus uh, 9.3 volts. Never do math live. Okay, this end of the, uh, the anode of this diode is negative 9.3 volts. What's the cathode side? Well, that's really easy, it's plus 10. All right, so what is the voltage across this diode? I'll do, maybe I'll do another color to be confusing. That's the voltage, I'll call it VD4. Well, VD4 is just minus 9.3 minus a positive 10, which is uh, what, negative 19.3, it's negative. Negative is the key right here. That means this diode is reverse biased and the current is indeed not flowing uh, not flowing in this direction. That would be weird anyway. You think this is negative voltage, you got to go from negative to go up to a positive. This is a passive device. It's not going to happen anyway. But the intuition right here, uh, we'll just point that out as we go through this loop. All right, so we come around this corner. We're going to come up this wire here. Remember, we're going backwards, backwards backwards just seeing where positive current flows all right come around this corner come through this resistor this is I'll call that resistor 2 and we're gonna go this way we could come some of that current could come through R1 we're not sure but it could also go this way we go this way we come around the corner we come this way and you notice that we have two different currents, the red current and the green current, and they're going opposite directions but in the same wire. Well, that's okay. Just superposition of, of two different currents. Here we made it all the way around. Now you see that we have a loop. A loop goes through diode 2, twists it around on itself, goes this way, through R2, back through our zero node, that wire hooking these two nodes together, and there's our loop. Sure, it's a little twisty, but what do you do? That's the path that current flows. All right, so that's what we have. Let's look at our voltages over on this this side. If we uh, we'll start on the red. If we look at this this to here, this is zero, of course. Well, now we can just do Kirchhoff's voltage law. So whatever this is is up by 0.7, and we got to 10. So we go backwards. We start at 10. We go down by 0.7, and now we're at our uh, output node, or VO plus. So I'll say VO plus is just 10 volts. I'm not. I'm going to put this symbolically. This will be uh, just slightly useful here. I'm going to say instead of VS, I'm going to say VS over 2. All right, so we have 10 volts minus 0.7, which is VD on, so we have VS over 2, minus VD on, or 10 minus 0.7 or 9.3 volts. Uh, here we go. Okay, next one, we have this one, we're going to, I don't know, let's start over here again. We have negative 10, we're going to go up by 0.7, so we're at minus 9.3, and that after all these twists and turns is right here. So this node voltage is actually uh, minus 9.3 volts. I'm going to draw my VO minus like this way. I'm going to draw it this way. I know. Just watch your minus signs. VO minus uh, is VS over 2 minus VD on. And then if we combine these two together, we'd take these two nodes, these outer nodes, as our uh, output voltage. You see that these two voltages are in series, VO minus plus VO plus, the way I did the signs. And we get VS minus 2 VD on. You can see that if we go start here, we go through one diode drop, we get to our load, cross our load, a second diode drop back to the our, our transformer. 
So even if you ignore the zero node here, you can see that uh, we have two diode drops in series, D1 and D2. We have uh, this one, if R1 and R2 are the same value, you end up uh, to find that the currents, uh, the green and the yellow, red currents are in fact equal and opposite, so there's zero net current uh, in this ground wire, which means you could just take it out, pluck it out, and nothing would change. Sometimes we do add the center, center tap even when using a bridge rectifier because we want uh, just a, a positive and a negative power supply about zero, bipolar power supply. All right, I'm going to move on to this one. Now this is VS is, uh, VS is negative. Get my paper set up here. Remember we have up and down. Now we're interested in this spot on the waveform. Right down here. Keep my colors consistent. Okay. Which means, uh, remember that we're going this way, and this waveform is down, then up. We're at this instant in time and this instant in time. To keep our numbers the same, uh, this is now minus 10 volts, and this is plus 10 volts. And now we can draw our currents. All right, so if we draw our currents, uh, through this way, I'm going to use red for positive, but I'll start over here because, you know, sure, why not? It's easier. Positive voltage, current's going to go this way. It's going to go this way. Now, which way does it go? Does it go that way through diode 2? No way. The Gandalf diode says no. It does go this way through diode 3. VD on. Okay, does it go this way through diode 1? Nope, can't do that goes this way and now we're forced to come up and around and through our load resistor. What I want to show you is that this is just a thing that happens in a, in a bridge. Is you notice how the reds, once we get past the bridge, whatever the voltage was over here, positive or negative, the red got routed through R1. See that? It got flipped around. We were using uh, diode 3 is now on. Diode 4 we'll see will be on and we have diode 1 and 2 are on, these two are on, then we go this way, we'll see that diode 2 or 3 and 4 are on. It's just an effect that we have going on. All right, we can trace the current through here, we'll eventually see that it's uh, equal and opposite, but because I don't like seeing multiple ground sing symbols in a circuit, it's just, uh, you know, sometimes we're lazy and we do that, but it's just calling for trouble. I am going to at least draw in this a node so that we're explicitly clear that these are the same node current could flow through this wire and indeed it has to at times take our neg negative uh, voltage remember we're going this way it's negative current will be going opposite opposite direction we go this way and we see that we're going to go through the diode in that direction diode 4 we can't come into that node through diode 1 because it's uh, the diode is blocking that here we go. We're going to come in this. And remember, we can't go this way because this is plus 10 and this is uh, minus 9.3 or so. This is negative. Diode 2 is reverse biased. This was the same situation that happened why diode 4 was reverse biased. Remember, we can do that. Okay. Spam call. All right, so we go this way, we get this, current flows through here, flows around this corner, this way, it's a little weird going backwards, but uh, go like that, we go like that, we go like this, and if these two currents are equal, remember we'll find that there's a zero current flowing in that one, so we could say current is indeed going that way. Now look at this. Oh, we didn't go all the way around. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we will. I will keep going with the red current. We'll say it goes into this ground node because that feels uh, comfortable. Because, you know, current goes into ground nodes and uh, that makes people happy, I guess. Okay, so we have current flowing in the blue wire here. Blue wire. Remember, current flows in a loop. We have to go in a loop. Here is our loop. So there's the red loop. The green loop, remember, goes uh, this way, 
this way, around the corner, around the corner, this way, this way, this way, that way. It's it's just weird going backwards. Even when I, when I practice this. Okay, and we go that way. Comes around uh, that direction. There is our complete current loop. You could also connect green and red together and just have this. I'll go slowly. We'll start here and around and up and through R1, through R2 and down. See how my pen is not really need to come up and here and then back and then cross back where we started. That's a bridge rectifier and the ways that currents flow through here.